Welcome to this first video about the advanced projections mod for Quake 2 RTX. The inspiration for this mod came from the Blinky project from Quake 1 and the Flex 5 and 360 field of view mods for Minecraft. Um, and those are regular uh, 3D games with regular 3D engines and in order to incorporate different projection methods in those games they had to do a lot of tricks, they had to render the, the scene many times and assemble these in, in different pictures together into one full image with a different projection. However, the Quake 2 RTX is a fully ray-traced graphics engine, which means it does not rely on rasterization where you project the triangles or the polygons in the scene onto a flat surface. Instead, you're shooting out rays from the, from the camera, from each pixel, into the 3D level and you're looking where will those end up and what color is it on the wall where they hit basically. This means you can send out the rays in any manner you want without any performance loss. So right now if you look in the top right corner I have an FPS of uh, 51. If I change to a cylindrical projection uh, the, the FPS doesn't change at all. I can change to equirectangular projection it's still the same. I can change to the Mercator projection, it's still the same. We have the Hammer projection, it's also pretty much the same. And finally, the final projection I've added so far is the Panini projection. You can see the Panini projection is still a work in progress, the aspect ratio is uh, not great. And also you have this shimmering on the wall, which is due to the built-in denoiser and temporal aliasing filter in the original uh, 3D engine in Quake 2 RTX and uh, I just haven't added the support for it yet. I have the same issue with the hammer projection, you see this shimmering as well on the wall, and you can also see that the, the corners of the screen is sort of flickering, uh, that's supposed to be outside of the allowed projected area, so I have to figure out how to remove those rays completely. Another interesting thing is the um, the Quake 2 RTX, since it's a fully path-traced um, rendering engine, it allows for true depth of field uh, sort of simulation or calculation in the camera. So if I enable the let's do this. If I enable the photo mode, I can I can focus on on the wall over there in front of me, and then the weapon will be out of focus, or I can focus on the on the weapon, and then the background is out of focus. And the original uh, Quake 2 RTX uh, engine, it assumed that the focus plane was completely flat. And that works okay for the uh, rectilinear projection, because that's sort of a flat plane you're looking at. But this projection I'm using right now, it's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, it looks all the way around you. So you, you, you have to have a, a spherical uh, focal uh, plane, so to say. So I've added the support for that in the engine, and when you go to the rectilinear projection, uh, you still have the flat focal plane, while all the other projection methods use a spherical projection plane. And you can see this if I try, if I go to wall here, if you do this, if I, if I focus, let's see, if I focus on the wall here, focuses on the wall, and uh, it's in focus to the left and to the right and in the center. If I now change to, uh, for example, the uh, Mercator projection, you can see the wall is in focus in the center, but it's not in focus to the left and to the right. So that's because the wall is further away to the left and to the right than it is just in front of you, uh, which is more accurate for a wide field of view lens, essentially. So uh, yeah, this is still a work in progress. Thanks for watching and look back soon.